Hi, this is Suzo Aventero. This reading is for Taurus. <laughs> Everyone's moving in lovey-dovey mode, so I got these cards. Let's see what happens. <sighs> okay, Chiron. Okay. Okay. And protection. I want to get one more. Oh, it's showing up again. Okay. All right. Okay, so... Hmm. All right, so here we go. Chiron. Okay, so um, this is healing. So a lot of you, some of you um, were like uh, going through some things with partnerships. And um, okay, so there is this healing phase, right? And some, some of it uh, was like family and some of it had to do with you know the C thing for some of you okay so that's what I'm picking up okay and um, it's really nice to know where your Chiron placement is you can do a free chart online and go plug in your uh, birth date and uh, where you were born in the time and it will put the Chiron placement for you and that would explain a lot for a lot of people so go see if you can do that okay now Pandora. So even with the past uh, funk, okay, you had hope here, okay, in love, okay, deep down. You believe in love, okay, even if you put work and money first, you still believe in love, okay. And then here is Rhea, protection, okay. So protection is moving in love and grace. And releasing that duality and moving from neutral to positive as much as possible and moving in that grace. Okay. So then here is Prometheus. Okay, so okay, so this is the fire bearer, right? So I feel like you are figuring out where you're gonna put that new spark. Okay, but this is coming up again, so I want to say it. Okay, you don't have to sacrifice one for the other, okay? You can have it all, okay? And uh, you can recharge as much as you can, okay, as you're moving along, but you don't have to give up one thing for the other. You can have it all, okay? You don't have to be super mom, but, um, you know, just know that um, there is no limit. And so open up those places within you where you feel like, um, you know, you are only um, doing this or that. See if you can open those areas out more, create more space. All right, so... Okay, so some of you, that might be a fire sign because this, here's the fire here, and then um, there's a Sagittarius looking thing here. Okay, so, <laughs> I'm sorry I said it that way, but, okay, so, um, but some of you, okay, yeah, may have the fire placements, okay, so, Some of you had to turn your cold shoulder to your ex. I picked that up. Okay. So just kind of free yourself from that, right? Okay. You don't have to be lovey-dovey, but you could get to neutral, right? Okay. All right. Doubt and indecision. So you're in completion mode, though. Oh, some of you who divorced and chose your career sometimes think back and maybe you didn't take the right path. But release that. Okay, the path you're on is the right path. Okay. Balance and unity. Okay. Oh, okay. 
So, let's see. It goes back to here. Okay, so... Even though you're holding hope and faith and love, okay, there is a sense of... Uh, even in your grace, maybe not opening up like you would like. Okay, and that's, that's this... Okay, because... The Uranus energy is kind of like that free, carefree, um, explorer energy, you know, and it will boost your confidence. Okay. But uh, you may not be comfortable with that. So then you might, uh, you know, be in this kind of thing uh, because you may that may not be comfortable for you. But I feel like that undercurrent with that Uranus energy is you're going to want to go out and do some new things that you never <laughs> would do before. Okay. Okay, so that's that Uranus energy. Okay. But the good part of that is it's give it's boosting your energy, okay, to do things, new things. Okay. So then here is wanting to find balance and uh in that and unity. Okay, so uh moving towards uh, not just unity with um, your partner, but also, I feel like, um, the all. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so let's figure this one out and read that, and then I'll leave that with you. Okay, so let's go here. Number nine, doubt and indecision. I think you know. She loves me, she loves me not. She takes a sniff of her flower and then pulls off a petal and lets it fall, speaking softly to the flower. He loves me, he loves me not. As he takes her hand, he looks at her fondly, uh, but he is not so sure. And another hand reaches out for him, pulls him along to explore a new journey of love beyond the frame. Okay, what is the solution? Doubt and indecision abound in this love triangle. Okay, so for some of you, a love triangle isn't third party. The love triangle was the divorce, and then you had a new dynamic with an extra person. Okay, so that's interesting. Okay, so, so someone in that new framework uh, maybe didn't feel so comfortable okay it was adjustment right change is not always comfortable okay have you ever gone back and forth about a decision or alternately felt as if you were dangling from a string while someone else went back and forth about things well you know I think we all kind of felt like that right when the C thing hit to a degree Okay, it can be exhausting. Make a list of pros and cons to help you gain your balance and make your mind, make up your mind in a given situation. You may find insight, and sometimes when faced with choice, faced with a choice, weighing it all out can be huge help. Look within. The meditation. In times of doubt and indecision, check in with yourself. Breathe in, and remember, you are love. Okay, and then here is an affirmation. Everything I need is within my own heart, and of this I am sure. I manifest my beautiful life. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, and I leave you with that, Taurus.